Welcome back to another League Epic. In the first clip, we have Deal with Nick playing the purple team Draven with his teammates falling one by one. The blue team are going to be pushing for the win as Draven heads towards his Nexus turrets. With the blue team catching up, Draven will head towards his spawn with his home guards. The blue team then will go for the Nexus turrets, opting not to wait for their minions. As they start to take a heavy amount of damage from the Nexus turrets, Draven will come at it with full health and the speed boost, laying damage into Jax as he pops the counter strike. Draven then will be able to kill the enemy Jan as they take the first turret and then kill Malphite as he comes in too close. Draven now with the double kill will be able to land another couple auto attacks on Jax as he takes a turret shot for the triple and his vein comes out of the Guardian Angel. He will be able to finish off as well for the quadra kill. He isn't done yet though as he will be able to chase down the enemy Galio and eventually take his pentakill which then ultimately leads his team to a victory as they respawn and push for the win. Clip number two is going to be a group effort from the blue team starting off with the blue team Vi against the enemy team by herself. As her teammates respawn, Vi is going to be kicked around by Leeson and eventually drop low enough, but she does manage to distract the enemy team long enough for her team to come up and fight against the purple team as they go for that victory. The next is dropping lower and lower as Jarvan will cataclysm both Kogma and Leeson, preventing a couple of key auto attacks which would have ended the game. As Kogma comes up from the Guardian Angel, he lands a couple of more auto attacks, but falls short by one, allowing the Nexus to survive with 50 health as the blue team will be able to extend the game six more minutes and then bomb rush the enemy team's Nexus, taking it for the win. Today's final league epic is going to belong to Grab and Hash playing the purple team Oriana getting jumped by the enemy Pantheon. She will drop under 50% health. Luckily, she does have a blue buff and her command attack at her ready. As Pantheon goes in for the kill, she will be able to hit him with the attack and dissonance for the shutdown. Now low on health, she will head around the bend but run into the enemy Karma. Luckily, the command attack will be dead on if she kills her for the double kill. She then will make her way into the river, deciding to go for the recall but then cancel it right away as she heads into the enemy jungle. She then will make her way into the bush and channel that that recall once again but the enemy Warwick now showing up as Orianna will be able to use the dissonance to gain the speed boost but get hit with the Edril ultimate. Warwick with his ult down will rely on the blood synth to catch up to Orianna to finish her up but Orianna is going to be able to slow him down with the dissonance and eventually kite him to death as she picks up her second shutdown of this killing spree she will make her way into the bush still being tailed by Talon. Talon is going to warp and jump on her with the silence. Throwing out the rake right after her she's on you. she will be able to command protect ignite Talon and throw out the attack for one final kill Taking the rampage on the enemy team, she will make her way into the bush and go for the recall and get a scare from her friendly Lucian, but eventually she does make it back to base. 